So I love you. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm gonna start soon with the meditation on loving kindness and the four questions. This meditation is inspired by Lance Swenson, one of our very dear teachers in the FPMT tradition. And loving kindness, just a little reminder is from a Buddhist point of view, loving kindness is this pure wish for ourselves and for, our, for all sentient beings to have happiness and to experiencing the causes of happiness and not only for today or tomorrow, for all time. And in this meditation this morning, we're gonna give it a little try and we're gonna mainly focus on the development on loving kindness for ourselves, for the me. And we're gonna do so by giving ourselves the opportunity to ask four very important questions. And as usual in our meditations and our guidance, just allow my voice to guide you through. And whenever you get lost in between, just come back to my voice. And try to follow the meditation to the best of your ability. And we're gonna start as usual with the signal. And all you have to do is just to try your best. Already that you are here, it's so worthwhile. And we're gonna start now, and also the meditation will be recorded. And as usual, take here the first moments. Make yourself comfortable in the way you sit. Ground your sit bones. Elongate your spine. Bring the shoulders one time up to the ear, rolling them back. And then softening all the muscles in the face. Scan your body once more, top to bottom, bottom to top. And if you encounter any tension, any tightness, use your exhale and let go. And now having arrived physically in the space. We can also now give ourselves the permission for our thoughts or mind to be here. Give yourself now internally this inner permission for this next 30 minutes to be fully present and to be fully here. Right now, nothing to solve, to think, or to plan. And then we can set a motivation for this practice, making this practice from the beginning an act of loving kindness towards the world, to us. Because when we try to gaze inward, when we try to develop ourselves further and further, we will be automatically benefiting the world around us. So making really this practice of kindness, love and care through the world. Think that a moment. And then I invite you to just notice the sensations of the breath. 
in your body wherever you feel any breath sensation try to see your awareness there And whenever your mind is drifting away, going somewhere, just come back to the sensations of the breath. And here we try to develop the mind in single pointedness and concentration. So we're going to practice here another two minutes, just being fully emerged with the breath, moment by moment. Now we can let go of the breath and just follow my voice. The essence of loving kindness is the aspiration that everyone may find true happiness and the causes of happiness. And we're gonna Try to cultivate loving kindness by really focusing on ourselves. Because if we can develop it for ourselves, we can very easily develop loving kindness for everyone. And from a Buddhist point of view, no matter how much mental afflictions such as anger, attachment, jealousy, and so on are in our mind, they are just just like dirt covering the surface of our mind. And underneath this dirt is the natural And this natural purity is our Buddha nature. It's our inner wisdom, our potential to reach the highest goals imaginable. Now I invite you to imagine this deepest dimension of your own mind as a small radiant sphere of light in the center of your chest at the level of your heart. Now take a moment forming this little visualization, imagine really the deepest dimension of your own mind as a small radiant sphere of light in your chest.
Now we're going to start reflecting on the four points. And here's very important that you just allow your mind to respond without interpreting or judging the answers too much. So the first question, the first reflection. What are your deepest aspiration in this? What is your heart's desire? What would you really like to achieve in this life? And then take a moment to really picture, to visualize your deepest aspiration in life very clearly. What are your deepest aspirations in this life? Take a moment and listen. And then we can give rise to the thought for ourselves. May I realize the well being that is my heart's desire? Really think that for yourself. And with the out breath now, imagine that immeasurable rays of light flowing out from your heart and filling and saturating your body and mind. And imagining that your deepest aspiration is being actualized right now and here. Really imagine you are receiving your deepest aspiration right now. It's being actualized. <coughs> and now we're gonna go a step further to the second important reflection. In order to help you to fulfill your highest aspirations in life, what kinds of material assistance would you love to receive? <coughs> Sorry. What kind of material assistance would you love to receive, receive from the world around you? What kinds of friendships and guidance would you love to receive from the people around you? And again, try not to interpret your answers. Simply allow your mind to respond. Allow yourself to listen in a non-judgmental interpreting manner. In order to help you to fulfill your highest aspirations, what kinds of material assistance would you love to receive from the world and the people around you? Take a moment and listen.
And then we can give really rise to the thought for ourselves. May I receive all that I need to help me to realize the genuine happiness that I seek. Now you can visualize that with each in-breath, reality is rising up in the form of white light and streaming in from all directions to provide you with everything you need. So take a moment to hold this visualization. Imagine that with every in breath, reality rising up in the form of white light, and it streams into you from all directions and provides you with everything you need. Everything you need to fulfill your heart's, your deepest aspiration in life. So here, take a few more moments and really imagine further that with every breath in and in form of white light and from all direction, you get provided whatever you need to fulfill your highest aspirations. And the help we receive from the world around us is not enough for us to realize the lasting happiness that we seek. For this inner transformation is essential. So take a moment, feel the truth of these words. That for this inner transformation is essential to really realize the lasting happiness that we seek, isn't it? And now we can move on to the third reflection. How would you love to transform and evolve as a human being? Which faults would you love to be free of? And which qualities would you love to possess? How would you transform and evolve as a human being? Which faults, which mistakes, which yeah, difficulties would you love to be free of? And which qualities would you love to possess? Qualities, values. And here you can really think big. What would you, which faults would you love to get rid of? And which qualities would you like to have? How would you transform? How would you love to transform as a human being?
And now we can give rise to the aspiration that may I cultivate the true courses of my own. And now with each out breath, imagine that white light is radiating from the inexhaustible source at your heart. Imagine that the white light of loving kindness from your heart is saturating your body and mind as qualities and you are free of those faults right now and here please sing give rise to the aspiration for yourself may i cultivate the true causes of my own fulfillment and now you can really imagine that with every out breath from the right light from the inexhaustible source at your heart this light of loving kindness is saturating your body and mind completely as you actually become right now in that moment a person you envision you like to be, free of those faults and enhanced with those qualities you like to possess. Take a few more moments here, forming, feeling these words, this visualization. And then we moving on to the fourth question, the fourth reflection. And here you can ask yourself, for the sake of your own full, full for your own fulfillment, and to make your own life as meaningful as possible, what would you truly love to offer to the world? And here you might even want to use your own unique talents. For the sake of your own fulfillment and to make your own life as meaningful as possible, what would you truly love to offer to the world? You might want to use your own unique talents. Instead of what is there for me, what can you easily give to the world from your heart? And here now we can imagine that with each out breath, imagine that the white light of loving kindness is radiating out in all directions from your heart and actualizing this offering to the entire world right here and now. 
So try to form now, experiencing this visualization that with every out breath, <coughs> the white light of loving kindness is radiating out in all directions from your heart and you're actualizing your offering to the entire world. What can you really offer to the world using your unique talents? And here, think big. more time with a fully open heart try to really actualizing your offering to the world Now looking back over the reflection on those four points. So we can just listen one more time to our inner guidance. And just stay here now for two, three minutes in silence. How the discretions felt for you, what conclusions, what answers did you receive from your internal voice or from your inner voice? And just allow yourself here a few more moments of listening in this internal dialogue. I will now just go one more time over the questions. What are your deepest aspirations in life? Reflection one. What do you need to fulfill your highest? What kind of a material assistance you need to receive from the world around you to fulfill your deepest aspirations? And then how would you love to transform and evolve as a human being? Which thoughts would you love to be free of and which qualities would you love to possess? And then to make your own life as meaningful as possible, what would you truly love to offer to the world? Take a few more moments feeling the echo of this question on your internal landscape. And then You can slowly take a moment here, feeling really happy about ourselves that we tried our best in meditation this morning, really rejoicing in ourselves and everyone here online, all the people listening to the recordings, that we have this precious opportunity meditating together. 
And then we can dedicating out all the positivity, all the virtue of this meditation that may all sentient beings be benefactors of this practice and may this meditation serve as a act of loving kindness this morning for the world. So I think that's a moment dedicating out this beautiful practice to each and every one, to all sentient beings. Money, Pime Home, wisdom and compassion arise within us. Thank you so much. I wish you all a very happy, fulfilling day today.